Look, I know this might be a little shocking to hear, but doing parkour isn't as simple as shouting parkour and springing into action. Well, not if you want to do it long term anyways. Like with any physical practice, it places a demand on your body, and your job is to condition in order to meet those demands. Of course, since so much of parkour involves jumping, I pay a lot of special attention to my ankles, my shins, my knees, my hip flexors, and of course, my jumping form. Right here, I'm working on my spinal mobility, which I think everybody should spend a little bit of time on every day. Something really important to remember is that there is no perfect one-size-fits-all training routine for anything, which also will help you spice up your workouts. You can use the environment around you however you need to work on whatever you want to work on. It's really important to start with small things and really learn how to listen to your body. It will tell you what's tight, what's sore, what's weak, and more. Be patient with yourself and keep an open mind. Learn as you go. And over time, you can do some amazing things. Some really important aspects of parkour are self-trust and building confidence. And consistency builds confidence. Practice your fundamental movements all the time so you can use them anytime, anywhere. As you build up your strength, mobility, balance, and confidence, I like to think that you're investing in your physical freedom. That the more you do, the more you can do, the more physically free you become. And not just free in your capabilities, you become sturdier and less likely to get injured through accident or training or overworking yourself. And lastly, the grit and self-discipline you get from training consistently will keep you from getting down or discouraged when things go wrong in life. You'll know you can pull through because you've already done it before. Move consistently, move creatively, master your mindset.